my whole day revolved around these three words. And I had an exciting, entertaining, and an experience of my life. Good evening, dear Good evening. Good evening, guests. It was 11 p.m. <coughs> on Saturday night. I was feeling bored. I didn't know what to do. So I switched on the television. And the movie which came on was Yes Man. So the movie talked about the protagonist. He has to say yes to every question which was given to him. And I wanted to experiment on something like that. So I said on Sunday, I would say yes to each and everything, each and every question which was posed to me. So I slept at 12 p.m. And suddenly, my phone starts ringing at 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm like, oh my god. Hello? On the opposite side, it says, Good morning, bro. You ready? Then my phone pings. I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Ready for what? Ready to go to Nandi Hills. Did you forget? No, 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 no. We are going to Nandi Hills today. Next question I asked was, how are we going to Nandi Hills? Anybody in their right mind wouldn't go to Nandi Hills by a bicycle. <laughs> and thanks to my promise, I had to say yes. So I get up, ate two granola bars, packed some water, got onto my road bike, snuck out of my own house at 3 a.m. in the morning, and we rode to Nandi Hills. We rode all the way on top. We didn't spend time on top chilling uh, like all the other people do. We raced back down because the fun of cycling down is amazing. It's crazy. It's like, it's, it's amazing. So we came back down. And then uh, my friend had a puncture. We fixed it. I came back home and ready. My mom was ready for me. She made a huge heavy breakfast. And she gave me a smile. You knew it. This breakfast is a catch to it. So she's like, Do you run some errands for me? Then my phone pinged again. Yes. Yes, ma, anything for you. As long as you give me lunch and dinner in the same way. So I run the errands. And then I come back. The time is 12 pm. Now the fun and interesting part of my journey starts today. My friend calls me. He's like, uh, did you forget? I'm like, no, no, no. Uh, what's up? I say, uh, he says, did you forget you have to teach me how to fly an aeroplane? I'm like, uh, do you, you mean model aircraft? I have a hobby. I do aero modeling in my spare time, which means flying a model aircraft. Um, I also have a quadcopter, which I go every Sunday and fly. So, he tells me, come to the flying field, we're going to fly a new plane today. So I pack my bags, put the aircraft, the quadcopter, everything and we rush to the flying field. Now my friend is new to aero modeling, so I introduce him to, his fellow, to my fellow aero modelers. And we have a fun uh, jolly time. And then I have to come back home, I have to rush home. It's 4pm. Uh, 4, 4 I rush home, I see my dad. My dad is packing his suitcase. He's putting all kinds of stuff in his suitcase. And I'm like, uh, where are you going, Dad? Dad's like, I'm going to Italy for a couple of days on business phone. Then he calls, uh, picks up his phone, he calls a driver, and the driver doesn't pick up. So he's like, Warren, can you please uh, drop me at the airport? I look at my phone. Things again, yes. So I drop him at the airport. Finally, I, I don't get to see him for a couple of days, so bonding, family bonding time, I say yes. Now, I come back home, it's 7 p.m. Finally think the day is over, I'm gonna go head to bed, get some shut I forget to put my phone on sign. Phone rings again. Hello? My friend. We have a party tonight. <laughs> I have free passes. Come along please. Look at my phone. Yes. So we, I pick up my friend from his house, then we go to the, uh, the event. We have an uh, amazing time, I socialize a lot. I, I socialize a lot. And then we uh, have to drop him back because he was uh, completely wasted. Uh, 
so and then on the way home there are police people standing and thankfully I don't drink and drive so uh, all of you don't. Uh, so I go home. Oh, oh on my way home, another interesting fact. I live in a village, like near a village, and the roads have many potholes. So I'm driving back, I suddenly see something fall into a big pot. I'm like stunned. Then I go near, I get off the car, look at it, it's a man lying inside the bottle. So I pick him up, uh, all of you should know by now it's called. So I pick him up, I look closer into his eyes, oh it's my neighbor's gardener's son. <laughs> so I pick him up with huge struggle with me and him. <laughs> me try to carry him out of the pothole and him trying to be inside that pothole. So I carry him up, take him to the bench, place him over there and uh, I make him sleep. And then I get back into my car and then I go home. I go home. It's 12 p.m. 12 a.m. My mom opens the door. She's like, how was your day? What did you learn today? Would you think a mom would say something like that at 12 a.m. in the morning? Shouldn't she, shouldn't she be busting me by saying, why did you come home so late? She didn't say that. Then I told her my experience from morning till night. And told her how I had to say yes to everything. And she called me mad and so on. Then uh, she again gave me the heavy trigger because I hadn't done anything. Now uh, I have a, I do something every night. I write what I do every day in a diary. Now, at the end of uh, my day, there was a thought which came into my mind. When opportunity knocks on your door, you answer it by saying yes. 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 Thank you.